Today's build is the icosahedron. The icosahedron is a platonic solid with 12 pentagonal corners and 20 triangular faces. We don't need to care for the triangles for a moment. Like always, we start with building a first corner. And as mentioned before, in this case, the corner is triangular. The connection is done in the same way like it's always done. The knot of the stick that we connect points to the small short end of the string that we connect into. That's already the first corner. Now it's the triangles surrounding the first corner, the faces that would join into this corner. And we continue to build in the same way like before. The stick we connect in has the knot pointing towards the short end of the string that it connects into. I organized the sticks in batches of five for the different build stages. And as you can see, that's already build stage two completed. So we have a pentagonal corner and five triangular faces around. Three of the sticks come together. These will be the next corners that can be completed. So I continue in the next phase to build five more pentagonal corners. For the third stage of the build. And these corners have triangular faces around them as well. So once the corner is completed, we can go back to the corner that we just built before and connect it back in. next to the corners. Now we have already a very three-dimensional object with two-thirds of all the components taken. And now we can use the last spots that need a stick connected to connect five more sticks in. build symmetrically and systematically the simple rule of how do the knots connect into a string helps a lot. Because now we simply bend the nearest stick of the completed model towards the newly connected stick and connect it in the only way that we connect stinks and sticks by intersecting them in a way that the knots point towards the corner. So that's nearly it. There is only a few spaces left. And we know we need to complete pentagonal corners, which is what we do now. The stick connects with the 
and not pointing towards the corner. And this produces nice antidotes, the remaining ones that we need to complete the icosahedron. And once we have all sticks in the model, there is just five more connections to make to finalize the last corner. And the rule is clear again. The knot points towards the short end. So this leaves us only one decent way of making these last five connections. And once these connections are done, we have our three-dimensional object, an icosahedron, which bounces, has 12 pentagonal faces that used to be the corners of the original object.